Last time I was in this neighborhood and I was speaking with people, they were having problems with someone egging their houses. But now people that live here have a whole new issue. Caught on camera, this man was caught breaking into cars in the Hillsborough neighborhood a few weeks ago. We put cameras up because we wanted to catch the kids that were egging the cars and um, it didn't take long and we ended up finding someone breaking into our cars. Tiffany Kiley, whose husband is an OPD officer, says they were shocked to find someone rummaging through their cars and taking off with a toolbox found inside one of them. She says police were able to help find this man, but that didn't stop the break-ins. There was four or five over the weekend and they smashed windows and went into garages and it's scary to think, you know, you're right upstairs sleeping. David Friends said he's heard about the reports of crime in the area. This, this neighborhood seems to be getting kind of targeted. His parents' house was a BB gun target one night and shattered their front door. He says it may be kids causing all the trouble. You can speculate and say that you think it's kids, and it probably is, but um, as a teenager or a kid, I mean, I've never broken into people's cars. I think that's kind of pushing the line. Kylie says the neighborhood is trying to look out for one another. People are posting that and what to watch out for or if they see something they think is out of you know, the norm. And her security camera was able to help catch one thief in the area. She hopes others will use the same tool to help stop the others. We were able to catch the guy right away because we had the cameras. And I think that's the best deterrent you can do between that and just watching out for each other. There has been a call for more security or police presence in this neighborhood, but Kylie says she actually does see OPD patrol this area, and she says they can't just sit in one neighborhood all night. Of course, OPD does encourage people that if you have a break-in or any sort of vandalism to report that crime. Reporting in Northwest Omaha, I'm Miranda Christian, 3 News Now.